Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video and another weekly reset. As always, I'm here to tell you what's new in the world of Destiny this week, weekly activities and anything else worth noting. Now do bear in mind that this is the last weekly reset before the House of Wolves drops next week on May 19th. Next week's weekly reset will bring lots of awesome changes. Although it is worth noting that Bungie did state that the House of Wolves would not go live until around 10am Pacific, which, for those of you in the UK, is about 6pm. So don't expect all the changes next week to come with the weekly reset, they will instead go live later on during the day, so it may well be that I bring you a regular weekly reset on Tuesday, but either way, only time will tell. I'll see what happens next week and I'll keep you guys informed. It does also mean that I'll also have a lot more to cover in the usual weekly reset, because not only will I have to tell you what Nightfall and Heroic there are, but I will also need to tell you what challenges await you in the Prison of Elders, because as you know, the level 32 and 34 versions rotate on a weekly basis with different bosses and different modifiers and different room loadouts. So depending on what they are, I will obviously include that in the weekly reset and anything else worth talking about. But either way, that is next week, let's talk about this week. It's a quiet week this week, nothing really to get excited about, no Iron Banner, no nothing like that, but to be honest, with House of Wolves next week, that is to be expected. So your weekly strike is the Will of Crota. You're going back down to Earth to face off against Omnigal herself. The Heroic this week carries the Juggler modifier, which means that no ammo drops for your equipped weapons. So again, use your rules apply, get a rotation going and you can circumvent that. As for the Nightfall, this week you have Arc Burn, which means that damage from any Arc Source is greatly increased. So do watch out for those Vandal Snipers, and obviously watch out for Omnigal herself, who has a nasty Arc Barrage. On top of that, you also have Light Switch. Minions of the Darkness deal much more melee damage, so especially be careful in that very first room when you are going up against those Stealth Vandals, and also the Thrall running at you in massive hordes. Then lastly on top of that, once again carrying over from the Heroic, you also have Juggler. So again, no ammo drops for your equipped weapons. So, they are your weekly activities. What about weapons? Well, here is what I'm running with this week. In my primary slot, I am going to be taking Fatebringer, because, as always, it deals arc damage, which will make light work of all those enemies, and the added Firefly perk means that when I'm in that first room, it'll also make light work of enemies when they're clumped together because of the explosion. As to your secondary, if you're looking for an exotic, Patience and Time is the obvious choice, it deals arc damage, the stealth option does mean you can work your way into the final boss room and get a few nice shots off and obviously get away safely, and it's also great for landing those criticals. Do however bear in mind that during the fight you are going to want something to combat both the wizards who have solar shields and also the shanks who shoot arc bullets but also have solar shields, so something like an icebreaker on hand would also be useful. And then lastly, for the heavy, well one of the best options is what Zur was selling last week, Thunderlord. An absolute beast, it'll make light work on most of the enemies, especially with that hidden firefly perk, and if you can get a clean burst on Omnigal, that'll burn through her life in no time. However, in the event that you didn't pick that up, or you have an alternative exotic equipped, then I'll be running with the Song of Eyut, which is similarly a very powerful arc damage machine gun. And that, my friends, is it. That's my loadout, those are the new weekly activities, and that is everything you need to know this week. As I said, again, there'll be plenty of new exciting stuff to talk about, and also stay tuned to the channel all this week, and obviously next week, because I've got plenty more House of Wolves videos coming your way. I've got a video dropping later today explaining how to hit level 34 on day one, so you don't want to miss that one. But aside from that, thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.